Tanner, you have always made loving you effortless. Even during a time when we were dating long distance, falling in love with you was the easiest thing I've ever done. From the very beginning, you have been open and honest, kind, funny, and caring. You constantly approached me with an open heart and open arms, and I know that's why you're so special to me, and you always will be. So today in front of our family and friends, I want to declare just a few things to you straight from my heart. I will strive each day to be the best wife I can be. I vow to approach you with love and trust and to make your best days as happy as ever. I pledge to be your comforter and to listen to your worries, your struggles, and your fears. I promise to try my best to make the hard times a little less difficult and to remind you daily of how truly cherished you are. I can't wait for us to start our journey of marriage together. My hope for us is to continue to make plans and lasting memories. I pray we will always support one another and never forget to have a little fun. I know life may not always be an easy ride, but I have faith in what the two of us can accomplish together from now until forever. I love you and I thank God every day that I'm yours. It's going to sound eerily similar. Okay. Um, long distance relationships are a hard thing to work through, and planning a wedding through a pandemic is equally as challenging. <laughs> um, but here we are. You make everything incredibly easy to work through. Not a good imagine doing it with anybody else. I never expected to fall in love with you, but I'm so grateful that I did. I see a bright future full of love and compassion with you. You are a blessing and everything I ever wanted and everything I never knew I needed. Your flaws aren't even flaws. Your OCD is just, well, <laughs> your flaws are what make you you, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. I really wouldn't. Your OCD just makes you neat and organized. Your efforts to avoid conflicts is just compassion for everybody else and not yourself. I just wish you could see what I see in you, even for just a moment, because you'd never doubt yourself again. Do you want to hold my hand? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ephesians chapter 4 tells us, So with all lowliness and gentleness, with long-suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. And 1 Corinthians tells us this. It said, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will fail. Where there are tongues, they will cease. Where there is knowledge, it will vanish away. And in first, verse 13, which ties it all together, best of all, said, and now abide faith, hope, and love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. May I have the rings? <laughs> Always get all drop one. Seriously. From time immemorial, the ring has been used to seal important covenants. It has been used by kings, queens, heads of state, but never has it had a greater significance than in marriage. These rings being endless circles are symbolic of your never-ending love and devotion to each other. Logan, we love Tanner, right could you place that on Logan's thing? Do you, Tanner, give this ring to Logan as a token of your love for her? Yeah. 
Do you, Logan, take this ring as a token of your love, of Tanner's love for you, and will you wear it as a token of your love for him? Do you, Dolo, can give this ring to Tanner as a token of your love for him? I do. Do you, Tanner, take this ring as a token of Logan's love for you, and will you wear it as a token of your love for her? Every day. The three strands of the cord reminds us that marriage is a threefold relationship. Being the two of you and God. These three strands are not easily broken, and I pray that both of you will hold to this throughout your life together and with God. If you both put 100% effort into your relationship and include God, your bond should not be broken. Having pledged your faith in and love to each other, and having sealed your solemn marital vows by the giving and receiving of rings, I now, in the presence of Almighty God, by the authority and these witnesses and the, by the authority of the state of North Carolina pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Tanner Joseph Burrow.
lesson she found she was stuck with me I was her biggest fan and as time went on her tolerating me grew to sisterly love and concern through the years she's always been my voice of reason my person of patience and my confidant always having a heart of gold selfless air and a timeless sense of grace and elegance that few possess she's been my best friend since the very first day and I'll be her biggest fan until my last I met Tanner Jr. at Appalachian State. Woo-hoo! The very first time meeting him, we hit it off. We talked, laughed, and I even gave him and Cody a run for their money in beer pong, <laughs> which earned his respect from that day forward. <laughs> Instantly, we became best friends and became inseparable for the remaining years of college and thereafter. From football games, parties, and game nights to late night talks, countless adventures, and unforgettable memories, Tanner became more than my best friend, or our third wheel, as I call him to me and Cody. <laughs> Even though him and Cody, I was always their third wheel, because I always said they had the biggest bromance of anyone I've ever met. <laughs> um, he was always there. He became like a brother to me. One who was always there to pick me up on bad days, celebrate the good times, and being there through all that life could bring. He is always willing to lend a helping hand. He has the kindest and most compassionate soul and puts his heart in everything he does, especially when showing love to those special in his life. I've known them separately, and I've known them together, and to know them as a couple is to know that they are tru- that you are truly in the presence of love. My mom always said that she thought she'd have the perfect child if she could take a little bit of me and a little bit of Logan. Well, that's true with Tanner and Logan. You take a little bit of Logan and a little bit of Tanner, and you have the perfect pair. I'm so thankful the good Lord blessed me with the sister who have always called my best friend. Now I'm even more thankful that he's blessed me with one of my best friends who I now can call officially my brother. 
May y'all have countless years of joy and happiness, and I love you both more than you'll ever know. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Toby, Tanner's dad. I'm not a stalker. I'm just wearing the microphone, so I had to be closed. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be in the shop. Uh, but we want to take this opportunity on behalf of my wife, Sharon, and myself, and Dale and Teresa, to thank you guys for being here and being a part of this big day for Tanner and Logan. Uh, I know it means the world to them for you to be here, and it means a lot to us as well. You know, uh, <clears throat> growing up, we had uh, a daughter and a son, and uh, having Chelsea uh, have her friends over, uh, we never heard a peep. You know, it was like they weren't even there. They would leave after the weekend, and we thought they weren't even there. Uh, and then Tanner came along, and you've already met some of his friends. <laughs> so you can only imagine what we went through. Uh, the highlight of that was one day we have an outdoor above-ground pool, and one day I heard the awfulest racket on the roof that you could ever imagine, and I go outside, and Tanner and his friends, some are here tonight, we're jumping off of our roof into the pool. So at some point, my wife and I were talking about it and she gave me the weirdest look and she said, what is wrong with that boy? And I said, I don't know, but I have a feeling that one day he'll grow into a fine young man. And he has. And I, I'm sorry to get emotional, but uh, we love Logan, and we welcome her to our family, and we're so proud of both of them, and we hope that uh, they will lead a life of love, togetherness, and all the great things in life because they deserve it. If you would please raise your glass with me and give a toast to Tanner and Logan. So to wrap up the toast for the evening, uh, I just wanted to say on behalf of Tanner and myself, we just want to thank everyone who came out. We know 2020 has been a bit of a train wreck of a year um, and with COVID and everything else going on, but we were still able with everyone's well wishes and thoughts and prayers, we were able to get through and plan a wedding and it turned out to be a pretty successful day. You got yep. As he makes a face at me, but. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm married now. You're married now. I'm married now. <laughs> But um, we just wanted to say thank you because we know this was out of town for everybody. We know a lot of people made special efforts to get here. And you're going to have to talk. <laughs> it was hard on everybody, and we appreciate everybody coming. Um, it was out of town for everybody. Um, it was a very emotional night. I've already cried once um, in front of everybody, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, but we do very much so appreciate everybody making all the efforts to come here. Um, it is Granny Bowen's 94th birthday. We're going to celebrate that just shortly. We're, we're going to make that a big thing. Trust us. We see you back there, Granny. We're going to party for you. Um, but we do appreciate all the friends, all the family, everybody. Um, everybody in here is family to us. Um, it means the world that you guys could come here. We know some people couldn't make it. Um, but still, everybody that could come, we, we greatly appreciate it. Um, it means the world to us. We really does. So, on behalf of my great-grandmother's 94th birthday, yeah. we're going to sing a happy birthday to her. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Seven different flavors, just whatever you're. We got a lot of cheesecake. There you go. <laughs> there